All right, gonna do a video showing the pagan occult origins of the Muslim god Allah. I've done videos showing that in the past, but gonna show some more proof of that. So let's get right into the photos I have of pagan occult Illuminati symbolism that meant to symbolize Allah, and also the word Allah being enshrined in the pagan symbols, and also uh, the occult origins of the Islamic moon worship of Allah. So here is the first picture I'm gonna show of you have essentially the moon symbol of Islam. You have the moon, the crescent moon with the star in the middle of it. In pre-Islamic Middle Eastern paganism, you have the Mesopotamian uh, staff with the moon on it. You have the other examples of the Babylonian one there in the Greek, ancient Greek, Greco-Roman, Babylonian uh, system in the middle of the crescent moon with the star in it. You know, the pagan occult origins of the crescent moon with the star are very prevalent. And you'll see that symbol a lot in Islam. It's a pagan occult symbol. Now here's a blatant example of the Illuminati symbolism of Islam. Uh, for example, you have right here uh, this eye. You have the Islamic symbolism of Allah, and you have this eye with the hand on it. You know, what do you think that symbolizes? The mark of the beast going into the hand in Revelation chapter 13. Then you have the seal of Muhammad and the word Allah right beside it. You could see that as the unholy trinity of Satan, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. You got Satan being Allah. You got the Antichrist being this eye here, and you got Muhammad being the false pro Muhammad being the false prophet, the satanic trinity right there. Right there subliminally for you. It's a foreshadowing of you can see it's a foreshadowing of that. Now here's a Hindu origins of the moon worship because you got the moon god of Hinduism, and you got the moon god of, of Allah the moon god of Islam right there, pictured with the star with the moon in the middle, then you got the moon god of, of Hinduism coming down on the crescent moon. So it comes from Hinduism as well, it's got origins in the Hindu uh, religion as well, the satanic demonic religion of Hinduism. On to the next photo, here is a six-pointed star, the occult six-pointed star with the word, sorry it's actually an eight-pointed eight star with the word Allah right there. And this is actually just, this was actually on a mosque. So you got the seal of Muhammad and the word Allah on this eight pointed satanic star. Interesting how it's on there. Why? Because it's a satanic false god. It is a Illuminati esoteric Luciferian religion. That's what Islam is. Now here is an ancient uh, Semiram and star uh, goddess, or so, sorry, star symbol that's, that symbolizes the god Ishtar the ancient Semiram and god Ishtar, and notice how it has the moon right there, with the star in the moon. Just like the crescent moon of Islam. It's a pagan occult symbol. Then here's a pagan Greek coin with the uh, star with the crescent moon in it. So again, you have the pagan symbolism of the star with the crescent moon. So Islam simply just borrowed that symbol from pagan religions, from pre-Islamic Middle Eastern Greek Roman pagan religions. That's where it comes from. Islam is occultism. It is essentially just esoteric Luciferianism. And I, I don't hate Muslims by saying that. I'm just simply trying to tell them the truth about their religion. Because Islam is, is uh, Luciferianism. It's not, it, it has nothing to do with the Torah or the Old Testament. Muhammad simply just plagiarized parts of the Old Testament and mixed it in with Arabian paganism to get the religion of Islam. They have the ancient Greek coin. Now here is very interesting. You have the sun worship of ancient Egyptian heathen religion, and notice how it's identical to Islam. Notice how the the sun is beaming down the Luciferian enlightenment. Then you have this Egyptian person raising his hands up to the sun, just like how when Muslims pray, they do the same thing. They raise their hands up and then they bow down, facing towards the east, like it talks about in Ezekiel chapter eight, verse sixteen, about them facing towards the sun, facing towards the east when they pray. Also, Jeremiah chapter eight, verses one to two. I did a video about how Islamic pagan moon worship is actually described in scripture. Here you have essentially the sun worship, which is depicting essentially just pre-Islamic sun worship. And you have the Muslim here, you know, you could depict him as the Muslim, raising his hands up to the sun. It's a foreshadowing of Islam. This is simply just Islam before Islam. So you got the Muslim there, and you got the moon god of Allah, the, the solar lunar god of Allah, which is the same thing basically beaming down his Luciferian enlightenment to the Muslim praying down below. That's just the analogy I'm going to try to use. So those are just some examples of the pagan occult origins of Allah. The Muslim god Allah is not the same god as Jehovah. Jehovah has a son, Jesus Christ, 
according to John 3.16, John chapter 5, verses 10 to 12, and many, many other scriptures. John chapter 4, verses 14, I believe it is. God has a son. Jehovah God has a son. But Allah has no son. Allah is a pagan, Arabian, Middle Eastern occult moon god. He's a lunar deity. So don't be deceived by Islam. It is a false religion. Muhammad was a false prophet, and Allah was a pagan, Middle Eastern moon god. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.